Hello everyone, uh, welcome to UKN Automate. In this session, we are going to learn about visual regression testing with WebDriver IO. In these days, uh, visual regression testing is becoming very important topic and very important automation aspect. Why that is very important uh, and how it can be done, how it can be integrated with uh, different automation tools. Uh, in this particular session, we are going to learn about how it can be integrated with WebDriver IO. Before going forward, first let's learn what is visual regression testing. Visual regression testing uh, is a process of validating visual parts of application or websites to ensure that code modif modifications do not introduce any unintentional changes. That means that, uh, say for example, in modern uh, days, a lot of application changes will be happening if you are working on a a particular app or website from a scratch and there will be a lot of design changes will be happening and uh, as a QA we need to validate that changes day in and day out so that there is no uh, defects occurring on that. It is aiming to prevent those interface bugs when implementing a new site functionalities or adding a new elements. Okay. Uh, what is the importance of it? No matter how correctly the functionality of application is working, it won't be used for customer unless it can provide a good user interface and the user experience. This is true, right? So as a customer, if a customer is not feeling a good about the UI or the design, then it is the software which what we are building is of no use. And that's why validating the visual elements visual aspects of the website is become very very important and when you are working on a agile model when you are working on a uh, software which is getting changed very frequently then it is very important to validate the visual aspects visual elements of the website developing modern apps and websites require a good code validation process integration and unit tests are must but often they do not cover all the changes that are introduced by developers. From a front-end perspective, creating a new component or making a simple style adjustments may cause a, some visual glitches in the parts of the application. This is right, right? So for example, if developer is getting is going to change some of the small part in the web element, it may impact the entire design of the website. So that's why it is very important to validate uh, visual uh, aspects of the website. In today's practices of continuous integration, visual regression testing becomes very important to ensure that new changes do not cause any mess in the layout of the applications, develops from version to version and progress across browsers. Right. So these all the points which I have noted down which on visual uh, testing and um, specifically about visual regression testing. In visual regression testing, we have a many tools and uh, some of them are paid some of them free okay and in this session we are going to learn about uh, one of the services that is uh, wdio image comparison service this is uh, uh, this is a service which is coming with the web driver io it can be integrated with web driver io very easily and it is a free and uh, no need to pay any uh, cost for this okay let's uh, start with this let's go in detail and see what it is and how it can be used in our automation framework wdio image comparison service is a lightweight web driver io service for browsers mobile browsers hybrid apps right and it can save or compare screen or elements or full page what is the speciality of this web driver io image comparison services it can compare entire screen or it can compare only few elements or it can compare entire page that means that entire tabs all the with all the things which is coming on the browser automatically creates a business uh, automatically creates a baseline when no baseline is there what is baseline is for example before validating any image we need to have some benchmark so that that baseline image we need to have so that whenever we run our test case it will be validated against the already saved image so that's why this particular web driver io image comparison services it is going to create a baseline images 
that means that is a proof images it will have uh, automatically it will create automatically okay if that is not present and it use a different comparison methods that means that it can be validated on screen element or page like that okay uh, let's see steps to start with if you go to uh, official website of webdriver io there is a separate page for visual regression testing and uh, whatever we have seen till now it is a content from this particular uh, page only okay i'm directly going to steps what all things we need to do first we need to install this particular service right uh, to how how do we install this particular service by using this command okay Inst npm install save dev wdio image comparison service you can use this particular second command i'm going to use this particular command i'm going to copy this okay and uh, going to my visual studio code okay and here i'm opening a terminal here i'm directly pasting that particular command here npm install save dev wdio image comparison service it should install it should install that particular service into your package.json once you install if you go to package.json and uh, you will see this particular service got added in your package.json in dev dependencies right so now we are done with uh, adding a image comparison service plugin into our automation framework right now let's see what is the next step so it is given that we need to add some configuration in in our wdio conf.json we need to add so if you go to wdio conf.js file there is a separate services this particular services will help us to include any of the external services say for example <coughs> if i want to install a chrome driver as a service then i'll be adding a chrome driver service if I want to add another service, then I'll be adding a Firefox service like that. Whatever the services which I want, I'll be able to add it through this services field. Okay, so the same thing we need to do in our WDI conf.js also. We need to add this particular service in our WDI conf.js and then we are ready to use the image comparison service. Okay, so let me copy this. Let me copy it copy till this point entire image comparison service okay let me go to my visual studio and wdio conf.js here uh, where is my service yep here services if you see here right now it is having only chrome driver okay now I'm going to add another service that is an image comparison service. Okay, let me add that. And if you see here, let me remove this particular comments, whatever is there, it's optional comments. Great. So I have formatted this particular uh, services. Right now, if you look into it, I'm not, I'm, I don't need uh, this tabling options right now. So I'm removing this okay and as our app we are not working on app so i'm just removing this is hybrid app okay and i am retaining this particular i'm retaining this particular code let me format this okay okay this bracket should come here this should come here and this should come here okay baseline folder is nothing but where you want to store your baseline images uh, before running before comparing any images i want to have my first version of images so that i can compare when i'm running uh, the actual test okay here i'm going to change my folder path here i'm going to add instead of adding in a test i'm just adding in dot slash base 
I'm adding like baseline images okay baseline images and slash and after that I'm tag so what what is the format of image uh, file it needs to be saved with so tag name and log name I'm fine with that I'm not I don't need a width and height of the file okay and a screenshot path once it executes the particular test case and where it should store uh, the actual comparison of the results uh, comparison of the images right so I'm going to give some path here instead of storing it in temp I want to store it in some of the folder called actual images okay this is my folder where I want to see my difference or any differenced image here. okay now once we are once we are done with the configuration now we need to start adding our test case okay i have created a separate package here that is visual uh, regression test inside this i'm going to add a simple javascript test case let me add one test here that is a uh, visual visual regression test dot js so let me add a describe uh, method here first describe inside this i'm going to write a visual regression test and as it is a async method i'm adding a async bracket arrow mark and the flower bracket inside this i'm going to write on before each method what is this before each method is before executing any test case this particular action should happen what action should happen it has to launch the website correct so this is what i'm going to do as part of this particular method here inside before each i'm adding an async method what is the async method is just to launch the website okay here i'm going to add a code for browser dot await browser dot browser dot url and inside this i want to do an image comparison on uh, amazon website https double slash www dot amazon amazon dot in okay cool now after uh, launching the browser after launching the url i want to maximize my browser so that i can do image comparison better browser dot maximize window is my method okay this is a method which will maximize my browser uh, my first test case is validating a home page so for example this is amazon.in and i want to do a visual testing on amazon.in home page what I want to validate as part of this, for example, as soon as I load this particular home page, there is a banner visible, there is a utility visible, right? I want to validate on this utility as well. Tomorrow, if this utility is going to change, I should be able to find this utility changes in my visual test case. I want to keep this particular home page as a baseline image. And on top of that, I want to add a test case on that. If any changes is appearing in the next future execution i should be able to find out from this execution from this baseline image okay now i'm going to add a test case for this what is my test case is first i should be able to add a test case for home page right so that's why i'm writing it should be able to write uh, should be able to perform visual test on home page this is my test case as it is a async method i need to add a async uh, keyword here followed by bracket arrow mark and then flower bracket okay as part of this test case i should write that whether what is the image i'm expecting is actually is present or not so i'm going to add a expect method here inside expect method i'm going to add a browser dot here i need to check for particular screen that's why there is a method called check screen check screen method will help us to identify any changes in the particular screen okay it will check the entire 
screen okay as soon as i add the check screen method i need to provide the image name also right the what is the image name that i need to provide here here i'm going to provide image name as amazon iphone home page okay and here i need to provide as to equal to zero right to equal to zero means that whenever there is a change in the actual image and the baseline image then it will not be equals to zero when there is a equal to zero that means that base image and actual image is exactly same right that's why uh, we need to provide equal to zero here and uh, we are using as part of check screen method here right so this is my first test case now i want to add another test case that what is my test case is so for example now i am checking for home page my next test case will be on particular web element so let's see let's go to a home page here again consider this is my search bar here i am entering some keyword called t-shirt as soon as i enter my keyword here it is giving me a list of suggestions right it is giving me a list of suggestions and if I want to validate this particular suggestion, is any change in that suggestions or not? If I want to do a visual comparison test on this particular suggestion box, so how will I do that? So in WebDriver IO, there is an option to particularly validate only particular web element also. Right? If you see this particular web element, this particular web element is highlighting, right? I, I want to validate this particular web element. How will I do that? First, I need to enter a keyword in the search box. So first, I need to write a locator for this search box. How do I write a locator? By using a ID of this particular search bar. Let me write a CSS locator for this. How do I write a CSS locator? Hash followed by the value of it. Okay, let me copy this particular value as a CSS locator and let me write a test case here so what is my test case should be able to perform visual test on search suggestions so suggestion is a particular uh, web element i want to do a validation on that okay as it is a async uh, method i'm going to add a async keyword here followed by arrow mark flower bracket and here first i need to enter a value in the particular search box right so here I'm going to write a next statement that is await followed by dollar within that I'm going to enter a CSS locator and set value inside set value I'm going to provide the keyword what I want to enter inside my search box that is a t-shirt right so set value is a method to insert into any uh, value into any of the text box next uh, statement is as soon as I enter text into that I need to wait for some second so that search box uh, search suggestions will be displayed that's why i'm adding a wait here uh, a wait or a wait browser dot pause right i need to pause the execution for some seconds so for example two seconds right now as soon as i pause uh, the execution the search suggestions will be displayed in the search bar right then i need to add uh, execution comparison method for this that is expect a wait browser dot check element check element is a method which i use to verify a particular web element where i want to do a comparison on particular web element then only i use a check element inside check element i need to provide what is my web element right here i need to provide the locator of the web element so let me go to uh, amazon dot in here and uh, enter a text box and then let me find out a suggestion web element here what is my suggestions locator so this is my locator here and i'm going to add a i'm going to create a locator out of it and copy this particular locator here and i need to add it in my test case so anyway i'm adding a dollar here i'm adding the locator that is a css locator here and after adding a css locator i need to provide a name for that particular image here i'm going to provide a name as search bar suggestions right and after this there is a optional argument i'm going to i'm not going to provide optional argument 
and after checking this i want to i want to have a no differences right so that's why i'm providing a two equal to zero that means that there should not be any differences in the search suggestions what i'm entering right so this particular test case uh, we have added and uh, first it will go to before each and launch the website right and after that it will enter a particular keyword in a search box it will wait for two seconds then it will do a execution of the expect statement where it will do a actual comparison and it, it should be equal to zero difference should be equal to zero that is that is the expected result out of here right and uh, the main highlight here is check element method this is a very important concept we should remember it okay let me execute this test case and see how does it look like i am executing this test case and first it has to launch the browser right it has to uh, launch the amazon.in and it has to take the screenshot of this home page and keep it as a baseline image right then it has to enter and the next test case is it has to enter the particular keyword into a search box then it has to look for suggestions right that is our main two test cases which we have okay right now it is taking the screenshot and now the second test case it has to execute right so it is entering a t-shirt keyword and it is taking a screenshot of suggestions this is the entire suggestions which is giving and if you observe here these two test case got passed and let's see the console for more detail here and if you see this particular color coding thing it is saying that as we are executing the first time the baseline image got saved in particular path right it is saving the it is saying the path also where it got saved right if you observe here it is saying the path and what is the image name same with the second case also right so this is the thing when we are executing first time and if you go to a baseline image folder also here it is saving two files here this is the home page which is saving and the second one is search suggestions this is the second image as we are executing first time it got automatically saved baseline images how it is happening is if you go to wdioconf.js there is a particular flag right this is the option auto save baseline equals to true we have added this true that's why it is automatically saving the images in a baseline folder and if you go to actual images here this is the actual images which got saved here uh, this is the home page and this is a search bar suggestion right so now we have got uh, both baseline images and actual images okay now if you go to a test case now if you modify this for example here we have a t-shirt instead of t-shirt i want to change the t-shirts i want to add a yes here so that I want to see if any changes in the images, how does it look like? So I particularly want to fail this test case so that we can see the differences. I'm running this test case again to see the failure images, failure difference images. How does it look like, right? So first it is launching the browser here and with Amazon.in, the first test case is it is taking the screenshot it is validating the screenshot against the baseline image right this is a home page right? it is validating that now the second test case it has to execute second test case is first it has to enter the keyword into it okay let it execute so second test case is it has to enter a keyword called t-shirts right slightly we have changed the keyword which is going to enter of course the suggestions will change here and it will fail the comparison test now if you look at the result here right so both the test case got failed with percentage some percentage it is showing right so what is the percentage of the first test case it is a 57 right 50 with it is failed with the 57.4 difference the second test case also got failed right if you see the second test case it is a 12.87 difference is a 
difference if you go to actual image folder here there are two folders actual and diff right actual image actual folder will have a two images and if you go to diff it will show the difference images whatever the images it has filled with and if you see this color entire image wherever there is a different color that means that there all places there is a difference when it is trying to compare if you maximize it this is how it looks like right this is the identification method where it got filled where is a difference if you go to the second page here again here also we can see the difference in the suggestions first time it searched with the t-shirt keyword second time it, it searched with the t-shirts keyword there is a small change and of course the suggestions will change and this is how the color coding will happen when there is a difference right so by this we can easily identify what is the difference right and this is a diff uh, folder where it will save to summarize today we have written two test cases right one is for particular entire page another is for a for particular web element right so this is how we have written two test cases and this is the option which is available in the web driver io as an image comparison service and uh, similarly we can write a uh, individual test cases for each check screen right and uh, where we need to provide a different different naming conventions for each if you look at the check element also here we are providing the locator of the web element what we need to compare and we need to provide the name of the file which has to save it and once execution happens this is how the result will uh, come if there is any difference right and if any difference is available it will directly show in the difference folder yeah. so guys do try out this particular image comparison test case by using a separate plugin available in the web driver io and uh, do let me know if you have any questions and if any suggestions available okay take care thank you